This week Germany plans to decide which plane will replace their aging fleet of 80 tornadoes. They have to choose between the European Eurofighter and the American F-18 Super Hornet. No I'm begging to our Ministry of Defense, don't pick the Super Hornet. To understand the situation I will give you a quick background. The Tornado is a multi-role combat aircraft developed by Germany, Great Britain and Italy during the Cold War. The Tornado was first introduced in 1979, so it's more than 40 years old. It was built to penetrate the Soviet airspace flying at low height to avoid enemy anti-air systems. Because that's quite difficult with modern radars and anti-air systems, a new plane is needed, but which? Two planes have reached the final round, the F-18 Super Hornet manufactured by Boeing and the Eurofighter. One of the most important capabilities of the German Tornado is that it can carry nuclear weapons if needed. Before you write in the comments that Germany does not have nuclear weapons, that's true but also wrong. The United States have certificated 20 tornadoes of the Luftwaffe to carry their nuclear bombs. This system is called nuclear sharing. If you just look at the planes, the F-18 has a big advantage. It's already capable of carrying nuclear weapons. So if Germany had to replace their planes this year, the F-18 would be our winner. But we have time, it's planned to replace the Tornado till 2030. That's 10 years to make the Eurofighter ready for nuclear weapons. So which arguments speak for the Eurofighter? The Eurofighter is a hell of a plane. According to Aviation.net, Eurofighter would win most dogfights against an F-80. Thanks to its Delta Wings configuration, there are only a few planes that can keep up with it. One being the gorgeous F-22 Raptor and the French Rafale. Sure, Germany would be forced to pay the development cost for the upgrade. But that brings me to another big point. A really big point. Let me introduce the future combat air system. This 6th generation fighter is planned to replace the Tornado and Typhoon. Airbus could now gain important experience for the project. This would spare time and money in the future development. But maybe that is not a valid point, because picking the F-80 could kill the whole future combat air system project. This project is an important bridge between Eurofighter and future combat air system. Without bridge, the project will collapse and with it the European aviation industry. According to Airbus, over 25,000 people work on the Eurofighter. We can't risk to lose these jobs. So what could go wrong with picking the Eurofighter? A lot. The Pentagon seems to be very sure about the F-18 Super Hornet deal. They claim that it would take 5 years longer to certificate the Eurofighter to nuclear sharing. So how could we solve this problem? Like I said before, only 20 tornadoes are allowed to carry nuclear bombs. How about leasing 20 Super Hornets? The concept of leasing is not new and would help to close the gap between the Tornado and the Eurofighter. To finish this video I can only say that I hope the Luftwaffe does pick the Eurofighter. I trust Airbus to give us an Eurofighter capable to replace the Tornado. I hope you like this video, goodbye.